all right hi guys we're gonna have a new up here okay the dmd2 let's check it out right here dmd2 um you can find it on the the apple store i mean i'm, I'm sorry you can find it for a droid but if you go to to apple store okay and you put uh, dmd2 okay not available so it's not for apple all right but it looks like this is a great app okay i'm uh, i'm gonna show you a couple of things the app is free it's other development uh they'll be using it for uh, uh, bikes that don't have like uh, you know all this kind of information so this is the home display let's go over it you can download it and play with it but I'm just going to explain you a little bit a couple of things okay when you first uh, um, uh, set it up I also recommend go to the group they have a nice group okay and uh, uh, you can ask questions there and, and you can read also the comments and everything from the developer pairs it's a great app i think it's it's you know i have most of the information on my bike um i'm very familiar with apps like this uh, i have also motoscan and i go through if you go to my playlist i'm going to put a link on the top there so you can go play around a little bit um if you want to see uh, stuff like that but let's talk about this app right now okay all right so basically if you go to the website it's drive mode uh dashboard.com okay right here or you can just search with dmd2 all right you can see it has you know a lot of information um you know different kind of like setup and stuff you can usually you put it on a tablet but this is my apple tablet this is my ipad so it's not working here, but I I don't want to put the tablet on my front of my on my bike. I'm gonna put my phone. My phone has a 6.7 uh, display, so I'm fine with that. Okay. So you can see you can run maps and you can uh, do a lot of things with this app. It's very useful, and this is the reason I'm doing the video. All right, you can find mounting systems for tablet for Samsung or whatever tablet you have. Remember, this is Android. All right and uh, let's go back on that uh, the best i think the best place i found was like uh, the group dmd facebook group okay right here just go into that okay drive mode dashboard and stuff you can ask questions and everything all right so i think it's very important all right and um um, they have videos, they have information here, uh, they have a forum, and uh, you know, what it is and everything. Let's take a look at the app. So, when you first open it, you're going to see something like that. But here, you're not going to see nothing, you're going to see just a plus sign, right here. Alright, what do you do with that? I have put, uh, you can put six apps here, that you can, uh, you know, want to use when you are on a ride. Alright, so... Let's look on that, okay, example, if I press here a little bit more, it opens the app on the phone, all right, and I can choose any app I want, I want to choose maps right now there, or I can use, uh, um, let's look, uh, let me see what we have here, okay, offline maps, you see that, it's already been set up here, all right, here I have my intercom system, the card, but you know what, I can change that. I can put weather, all right, or I can put uh, drive, or I can put, uh, let me see what we have here, um, okay, maps, right here, all right, the same thing you can set up, you can, you know, I have put my music here, also, I'm going to talk about the next video for the Yamaha My Ride, it's an excellent app, and, uh, but one thing at a time, so, let's go back into the dmd2 all right here if you long press you can change the name all right i have put my bmw here if you long press 
you know, it opens the folder and you can actually change the logo. All right, go back to the app. Here it gives you the time and the date, today, all right? On the left side of the screen, all right, you have the, you know, the speedometer, the odometer, the distance you cover, the travel time, the average speed right here, number three, the total time and the stop time, okay, every time you stop. But when you ride, you want, uh, this is like, you know, home. All right, dashboard. When you write, you want that probably. All right. So we have on this display average speed, maximum speed, speedometers. All right. You have your distance uh, here, your total time here, your travel time here, your stop time here. All right. That's dash one. And I'm going to show you the dash two. All right. But if you click on that, you can get the map. All right, and I have already put a GPX. You see that I have imported a GPX here. We're going to talk about the map in a minute. All right, so let's go back to home. Let's go back to the first display. All right, and now let's look the second display. You see this one, the power modem. You can connect your OBD here with the Bluetooth. I have done that. All right, let's look at it. Okay, we have two OBDs here. One, it's the the Conway OBD Professional KW9 on two. This one, all right. And the one I'm using usually on the bike is, of course, the one that I use for the motoscan. All right. Okay, OBD Link. All right. Both they doing exactly the same. Let's start with this one. This is like about 20 bucks. This cost me like about 90. All right. But the, the thing about this is you can actually turn power off and on. You see that? This doesn't have this option. So you actually have to disconnect it. I'm not going to use it when I'm running the bike. I'm just unit doing it right now for you, for the video. So you can see how it works. All right. It's one of them. All right. So let's connect first the Kenway. And if you want to see how to do the whole motoscan process, go back to my playlist. I'm going to put a link somewhere there so you can find. Easy. All right, let's connect the two arrows. All right. Now check it out. This one, you have to actually turn it on. This connects automatically. Okay. When you put it on, it's just on. And that's it. All right, let's go back to the app. All right, you see the Bluetooth is now working here. All right. But if you press this blue thing here on the side, you can actually OBD view setup. All right. Select ELM 327 Bluetooth device. All right. So you so see I have connected the, the OBD link LX before for the Motoscan and that works too. I'm going to show you just this one because exactly the same is the other one, right? So we choose the Conway and we'll go back. All right. And we'll open this again. Start OBD connection right here. And you see that it turned it blue. It's connected. All right. So let's see what kind of information we're going to get here. You see, I'm going to turn on the ignition on the bike. All right. Let's see, this one is blue too. You see it? Right here, it's blinking, it's connected. Okay, so let's, uh, um, let's start the engine.
Okay, so let's put now the uh, the motor scan. Do the same thing again. So as you can see, this already turns on by itself. All right. Um, let's go back to the app. All right. Let's do the same thing again. OBD setup. Choose device. Now I'm gonna go to the OBD Link LX. Go back. Again. Start the BD connection. Wait for the app. Blue. Okay, it's connected. Let's start the bike again. So as you can see, we're getting a lot of information here, right? So that's one display. On the part two, we're going to talk about detailing these things here, okay? This is like the um, <clears throat> the average speed, your kilometers per hour, RPM, water temperature on, the, on, on, on your cooler, all right, battery. It, all Not all the information, uh, they keep coming up and everything. This is your fuel and everything, okay? And... Uh, remember this app is under development all right so but now we're going to go back to the regular display all right and you can use that all right i don't need it on this bike because i have most of the information on my display here but what i need is this these are the maps check it out you see i can use the maps and i can use the route here gpx import so if you press here, you can actually add more. You see, GPX options. You can actually import a JPX file into this app. All right. Now they have a, a couple of options that you can pay for a, a map in your country and everything. When you first open it, you're not going to see a map here. You just pick up your country and you download the map for free. But if you want to have full access, you have to pay something. You just go on the website, you can see the prices and everything. All right. And uh, here it's uh, JPX files, locations and everything. Everything You can, you know, uh, add new and uh, it will say on the map and everything uh, what kind of location you want to save. So you can play with the app and find out. You have a root. You see that? You can have a JPX recorder right here. Amazing, right? It's free. Everything I'm talking to you right now is free. I haven't paid anything. All right, so close. And uh, uh, let's take a break and see what else they have. Okay, now remember, maybe uh, this looks too big for you, but this is just my phone. It's not a tablet. If you do have a tablet, okay, the, the app will give you more options to put on, uh, on, 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 uh, on here. All right? Or here, like example, here if you have a little small tablet, like let's say seven inch, you can put them up, them up here and everything else on the right side. All right. Now you can also download the beta version of the app and get a little bit more details. All right. Go to the group they have and ask them and look and read what they have, uh, you know, put there. Most of the questions they've been answered already. All right. So let's go to this. Uh, here you can import a road book, all right. If you are into racing or whatever you're doing, you can actually you know import the road book here, all right. And uh, you see, it gives you a lot of options, all right. Here you can change the brightness, okay. On the phone, you can change the motion, you can change the music, all right. Let's go back here. You can pick up any app you want that you have on your phone. All right. And here, hello there, visit shop. Okay, they will recommend your apps for you. All right, now, if you do want to get uh, stuff for, uh, let's see here. Uh, if you want to get plugins, all right. 
All right. All right. Now, if you want to get the map plugin, it's like 60 bucks for a lifetime. Or you can just test it for uh, six months for like six bucks. Okay. If you want to get the uh, the roadbook plugin, it's like seven, uh, six bucks for a lifetime. Okay. And if you want to get no ads, you give them like four dollars or something like that. All right. So that's that's pretty fair. All right. So basically, this is the intro. Uh, this you just quit the app, but it's running on the background, so you can bring it back up. See that all right so i don't know what else to tell you right now but basically you know let's go about again roadbook home basic display all right also it's very bright and you can see very clear it depends on what kind of like you know phone or tablet you have and everything okay map all right this is attica the like way 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 north of athens all right, you can have the the one we talked before, the OBD connected, so you can see RPM information, water temperature, uh, fuel. Uh, you can see the battery, the outside temperature, the bike temperature, and uh, battery amps, and uh, spark plugs, and stuff like that. Okay, this is other development. I'm gonna come back on the part two on this one and get more details. Any questions you guys have? You guys have just ask me on the bottom okay thanks for watching